Are you now working remotely from home and having to do professional virtual meetings? Well, if you're like majority of us, yes, we're having to do that. So this video is going to give seven tips on how you can conduct professional virtual meetings and um, make sure that you feel confident in doing so. So if you want to see what those seven tips are, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to be switching things up a little bit. I'm going to be doing an informational video today, which is something I've done in the past, and I thought I'd start bringing these back. Um, of course, you can find more information over on the blog at www.tiffanydbrown.com for more in-depth um, posts and uh, articles and things like that on different topics that I cover outside of just beauty and hair content. So today we're going to be discussing seven tips to conducting virtual meetings. And as you know now with the coronavirus and a lot of people being um, indoors, a lot of companies have started to do more virtual live streaming um, video feeds. And so I'm just going to give seven tips today on how um, you can elevate your virtual meetings when you're conducting those to make sure that you're doing a great job at it. So, okay, so literally I just got off of a virtual meeting, a virtual call with um, our national um company so a lot of us it's about I want to say a little, maybe a little over a thousand of us on the team and we all hopped on a virtual meeting to where we can talk and discuss strategy um, we can talk about the things that is going on in the workplace right now as far as like the direction that the company wants to go in with the pandemic so um, I've been you know for people who film a lot and are in front of the camera a lot it may not be as uncomfortable to us when it comes to doing these types of meetings but it is different especially me being in sales when we're usually out in the field and we're talking to our customers face to face now we're having to set up meetings virtually to where we're having to talk to our customers through a computer screen through a phone screen and so it presents its own challenges right but if you're not as comfortable being in front of the camera uh, it can be it can, it can be you know, challenging for you. So I wanted to give seven tips today that hopefully will kind of make you feel a little bit more confident when it comes to hosting virtual meetings in a professional setting. So I'm not talking about the kind of meetings where you're just hanging out, um, you know, partying and catching up with your friends. Now, these are seven tips going to help you within the professional realm if you're having to host meetings with your coworkers, your uh, people that you uh, work with outside of work. If you have a side hustle or things like that where you're trying to conduct meetings with your clients, then this would be um, hopefully helpful to you. So let's get started. So, so the first tip that I want to give you is put your cell phone on silent. Um, you don't want to have any uh, distractions when it comes to having those virtual meetings because these people are taking their time out to meet with you so you want to make sure that um, you respect that and put your cell phone your devices on silent I know for me I had to turn off my computer my iPad my other computer my other work phone because they're all chiming at the same time so make sure that you um, have your cell phone or your devices put on silent while you're conducting that virtual meeting Tip number two is focus your eyes on the camera and not the screen. I know it's really, really hard because you see the person on the screen and you want to look down towards the person as they're talking. But keep in mind when you're speaking to them, you want to look directly into the camera on your device, on your computer, on your iPad, on your cell phone to make sure that you're making that direct contact with them. And it's going to be awkward. It's going to take a little getting used to, but you can do it. So make sure that when you're doing virtual meetings that you're looking directly into the camera and you're speaking to them through the camera and not looking at their image on the screen. Moving on to tip number three, as you can see, I'm using my hands a lot, right? So be sure to use your body language, your hands to emphasize certain points that you're speaking on. I know for me, when we're speaking to our customers on the virtual, I use my hands a lot. Sometimes I use my presentation uh, folder to where I'm going through things, I'm showing them things. Of course, you can also do screen share, but you want to make sure that you know your body language is still coming off as a natural component to the conversation. So be sure to always... Um, when you're doing these meetings, to so use your hand gestures, get comfortable, get loose. It's, it's, it's very lax, it's a lot more lax than if you would have to meet um, and speak to someone in person in a professional setting. So uh, remember just to use your hand gestures to emphasize certain points that you may be trying to make with your customer or client. So tip number four is use confident body posture. Don't fold your arms or lean or slump over. Make sure you're sitting up confidently and when you speak, it's gonna be projected that way. Um, a lot of times if you 
try not to cross your legs. You know, if you need to get a pillow and sit behind you so you can sit up properly, do that. Because that's going to show through during these virtual meetings. So make sure that your body posture is always in check and is showing off how confident you are within this conversation, within this meeting. Tip number five, position your camera correctly. Don't be having your camera looking all sideways, tilted, not level. Like take the time to set it up correctly. Make sure that, that the camera is in focus and you don't have a lot of busyness going on in the background or things that's just around that could distract the conversation that you're trying to have, especially in a prof professional setting. So make sure that you keep it distraction free and um, that make sure that your camera is pointed and focused correctly on you and not the other things that are behind you. And I know a lot of times, like I said, this is for a professional setting, for professional meetings, professional virtual meetings. Like if you're hanging out with your girlfriends and y'all having a, you know, a girl's night virtually, it's probably not gonna really matter what the background looks like, right? But when you're, con when you're conducting business and you're conducting these virtual meetings, you wanna make sure that the background is clear of clutter and that your camera is focused and positioned to where it needs to be, to where you can have that intellectual conversations with your client and customers. All right, moving on to tip number six, have good lighting. So this is my tip. This is no different than when I film for videos, for beauty videos, for hair videos or whatever. You want to make sure that you have good lighting. If you do not own a ring light or a soft box or any of that, make sure that you at least try to get in front of some sort of natural light. If you have a window in your home that maybe you can set up a table in front of, because currently I'm using the light that's above my head right now and I'm using the window that's directly in front of me to give off that natural light. So if you can find a window, find a window but try your best to have good lighting to where your client and customers can see you clearly and they're not like squinting to find out like hey it's so dark I can't really see you because remember this is still a personal interaction it's just virtual this time so you want to make sure that they can see you and, and talk to you and feel confident um, when you're having that conversation so try your best to, to get the best lighting in the house if you can and if not just move to a location or a room that gives off the most light so that way they can't see you Moving on to tip number seven, the final tip that I have for you guys today when it comes to conducting professional virtual meetings is to be sure that you're aware of your background, which I've already touched on this, but keep it simple. Keep it clean if possible. Um, this is my background right now. It's literally my office doors closed, but I have like this little plant back there, which isn't that distracting, right? But of course you can get up against a plain wall, a solid wall, a solid color. Um, just make sure there's not too many things going on in the background. It's going to distract from the conversation. So I really do hope that these tips were helpful for you. I know that doing virtual meetings and going online and doing live streams and things like that could be very stressful and challenging when it's something that you're not as comfortable with doing or something that you haven't done in the past. But it's okay. Like it, Practice makes perfect. Once you get your setup, it's going to become easier. Once you do all of the tips that are associated in this video today, you're going to become a little bit more confident in hosting these types of meetings. Like I said, I know it can be challenging, especially if you're always behind the camera or being in front of the camera is just not your thing. But the reality is, it's what we're having to do now. So we might as well go ahead and try to get comfortable with it, right? So I really do hope these tips were helpful for you today. Of course, like I said previously, you can head over to the blog at www.tiffanydbrown.com for more tips and information on this topic. And let me know what you think about this. Have you been having to do virtual meetings in your workplace? Are you working remotely? What has worked for you? What have you found um, that has been beneficial when you're conducting these virtual meetings? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys, that's it for me. And thanks so much for tuning in. Please do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're here here and don't forget to head over to the blog at www.tiffanydbrown.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and we will chat in the next video. Bye!